In this video, we're going to be talking about Ice Age beavers. Now, beavers are members of the rodent family. They're aquatic. They're still around today. Beavers are very large. You know, you can be like a 30, 40, 50 pound beaver in some cases. They, uh, they'll make a little colony and they'll build a dam and they'll build a lodge that they go in underwater. They, they have a great way of living that has worked well for them for eons. A beaver, again, is a large rodent. They have incisor teeth that keep growing their whole life. And this can even, you can see this tooth is, is uh, you know, can kind of be pulled out. The teeth of rodents are conveyor belts. They just keep growing, keep growing, keep growing, and they wear them down, wear them down. They never run out. So you don't lose a tooth. The tooth is just perpetually growing. So a modern beaver is a large rodent, a large animal, um, and it's a lot to mess with. I, I had one that came after me when uh, I was on Tom Woods Lodge as a teenager, and it scared me to death. When they're mad, they're, they're powerful creatures. Well, that is a modern beaver, which was around during the Ice Age. But during the Ice Age, we also had a 300 pound beaver. This is called Castoroides. This, this skull is about the same size as a lion's skull. If you look at this skull, here's a lion compared to a giant beaver. And this is a beaver that you know, has a skull bigger than a lion. So this is a, a, is a powerful, powerful animal with teeth and these jaw muscles. Again, these jaw muscles are bigger than the jaw muscles of a lion because they're using that to cut down trees. But you know what? So are modern beavers. So we don't know why. Why did this species stay this size and why did this species get so big? It's very common to misunderstand the ice age and to say, oh, hey, there used to be a small beaver and a big beaver. Uh, the big one just turned small. Or same thing, people mistakenly think that woolly mammoths turned into elephants. No, woolly mammoths and elephants were two different species, cousins, and one of them is now extinct, one of them is still around. These two lived at the same time, but this one is now extinct, this one is still around. We often find that, that a lot of the animals that lived during the Ice Age, there was a big version and a small version, and usually the big version is gone, the smaller version is still around. We find this time and time again. Part of that is because of hunting. We do know that Ice Age hunters all over the world, when they came into an area, they would oftentimes target the larger, pre the larger prey first because there's more meat to go around. Sometimes it'll be easier to kill, like something like a giant ground sloth. There's a lot of food on that and they're easy to kill. But we, for whatever social pressures cause these things, we do know that in this case, the larger giant 300 pound Ice Age beaver Castoroides it went extinct again around 10,000 years ago. And this one continued on today. The modern American beaver continued on to modern day. So it's fascinating to see because otherwise they're basically built exactly the same. So it's amazing to think of a beaver the size of a, of a lion or even bigger than a lion roaming around uh, North America during the Ice Age.